Hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3 where is she gonna just keep wearing that red cloak? Also, let's read. You ask why I have these big hands, my friend? Well, I'll tell you my secret. Exercise. Uh, the big bad wolf who lived in the land of a thousand fables was like the other denizens of a strange sphere created by Arturius Vigo based on a figure from folktales. Once he served as a playmate to the Duke's daughters, acting out scenes with a certain red-headed gir girl and her grandmother. But as the fable land slowly degenerated, so did he. Geralt and Sienna met the big bad wolf while he was nursing a nasty hangover and was not eager to cooperate. Yet since the heroes needed a bean, which the wolf had, they forced him to act out his tale. Uh, the tale ended as it always had. The big bad wolf attacked the hunter, played by Geralt, biting and clawing him fiercely while his own wounds healed almost instantly. Inevitably, however, the big bad wolf was killed and his stomach cut open. This time out came not a grandma and our granddaughter, but a magic bean. I wanted to talk to- I bet you the three bears would have been the same sort of situation as the, as the three pigs. Rings are bad. Why is it having me talk to the girl who sells fruit? Without the wisp, it's got something to show us. Perfect. It's not to be trusted. Do I follow it? Wasn't that something else we had to do? Was follow a will of the wisp? Night's strange. Doesn't look like he's out of any fairy tale I know. Hmm. Wonder how he got here. In past times, Anna Rietta and I would occasionally run into them here. You see, knights errant far outnumber princesses in the real world, so some knights would sneak into the playroom, then into this land, in search of their fairy tale damsels. That's all. Only to be shredded to bits by a swarm of pixies. Man, he's delicious. Interesting. Sorry, my good man. I'm just gonna take all your stuff. Well, thank you, Will o' the Wisp. I'm glad I ran across it. So that was a thing. Like they'd sneak into the playroom on purpose to try to find an actual fairy tale princess, and they'd die. That's sad and hilarious. Just goes to show, like the damage that can be done of like you know, gr sort of growing up on fairy tales and actually expecting them to be. Real Pied Piper. Right. This is the spot. With the pull out the beans. No, I need to know. I have to talk to the fairy tale uh, flint lady. There's so many pixies. Piper's got the rats following him. Okay. Hold on. First, we have to talk to the girl who sells flint. Whoa. Notice board? Is it snowing? To God's pipes! Rolling leaves! Pussy boots! Care for a cicorilla? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Uh, remind me, what tale are you from? Sold flints when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Nothing. We just want to get out of here. As fast as we can. Sweet cheeks. Two puffs of my stuff. And I guarantee you'll fly out of here as if... Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. Wow. The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from Aturius Vigo when I was a child. It 
was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears, could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. The cat? Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? Oh boy. Fine. I'll pay you for the ribbon. This enough? It's enough. Now go away. You're welcome. All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. I'm not doing this out of the kindness Geralt of Geralt has a heart. soft spot, Don't okay? Want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Whoa! You whoa! You just merged with a deer! That was a very touching moment, but you just merged with a deer! Oh, okay! Oh, over here. Man, I kind of want to play around more. I wonder if there's... What else was there? Oh, it's a Billy Goat! Billy Goat's three! And you're just a deer? Okay. And there's a Puss in Boots. What's the notice board? Uh, the girl who sells a doll, formerly known as the girl who sells Clint. Get your mitts off my mattress. The Joker's always stuffing things under my mattress. I'm warning for the last time if I catch you, I'll have you last lashed, scalded, flayed, and finally torn apart by horses. Princess Alexia, seeking owner of Glass Slipper. At last night's ball, down to the lady with blue eyes and blonde hair tied up in a bun. With the stroke of midnight, she left, leaving behind a glass slipper. Each woman in the land of the Thousand Fables is to appear before me trying to slip her. Yep, 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 yep. Failure to appear will, be puni appear will be punishable by flogging. Cool, cool. One of my eggs hatched into something ugly. I suspect Madame Duck cheated on me from one of the six swans. No, she denies evidence. No, she denies everything. I'll pay good coin for evidence of her guilt. Full and anonymity assured. Master Duck. I'll take any unwanted children off your hands. Chubby ones preferred. The skinny ones will be turned away. Which Contract. Lucy this goosey. Residents of the fabled land. Somebody's after me. Ever since I moved here from the castle in the clouds, I feel like I'm being watched. Help me before it's too late. Balbina the goose. Known as goose that lays golden eggs. P.S. I know Joss has a tin, but it's not. Can I actually do that? Okay, well... I am going to do that, because if we are going to go into the castle in the sky or whatever, I think a poultry will be helpful. Uh, that the, ghost, the goose that lays golden eggs is going to be helpful. But I'm not ending this episode, but I'm going to have to cut it. You won't notice, but I have to go somewhere now I forgot about. So I'll be back in a second. We're going to go get that goose. I feel like that is gonna be extremely important. Oh, and hey, look at me. Congrats on level 50. I'm an old man. I'm an old man now. The denizens of the Land of a Thousand Fables have problems just like you or I or Balbina the Goose, for example. Had the disturbing impression someone was watching her with the intent of causing her harm. She had thus posted a notice on the Fable World's notice board. The golden egg lame bird was lucky, which happened to be up here in the area shortly afterwards. Since time in this strange realm flowed differently, Geralt could take on this unusual contract with a clear conscience, knowing his urgent matters in Toussaint could wait. I don't have a map, which is really weird. Hang on. You got stuck by- did you get stuck behind a house? Raj, you're a beautiful unicorn! Don't let anybody ever tell you this. Come on. Oh my Foster. gosh, this is hilarious. Come on, you, you- Know what? They need names. 
Mine's got a name. Hey, it's a rabbit. It was a rabbit. I saw it. I love the music. It's like so pretty and eerie at the same time. Wait. What's that? What is that? You can do it. Is it like a mini? Yeah. Wait. I'll call mine. Hmm. Anis. Call mine, Roach. Roach? Ah! Are you serious? Ugh. It's Thumbelina! Hey, watch it. You stepped on the <gasps> Oh no! That was my favorite tale. I didn't though! Why is that? Because it wasn't about a princess. Tales about princesses. I walked around <laughs> him! Oh, girl, that's disgusting! He just wiped his foot off. I didn't! I watched her walk to the side, though. I purposefully didn't walk on her. Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! I'm a murderer! I walked to the side. I'm so unhappy right now. I'm tempted to reload. <laughs> Look at this tiny village with tiny trees. And I murdered the only denizen by stepping on her and then wiping her off my boot. Oh my gosh, I'm a murderer. Oh my gosh, I feel sick. I feel sick. Oh my gosh, I feel sick. This game makes you deal Take with the easy. consequences of your actions. I can't believe- I did- You guys saw that, right? Like, she was to my right. And I was like, this is fine. I purposefully went around her. But the game was like, hitbox massive! Thumbelina's a good story. One of my favorite movies when I was little. Oh, hey! It's that house I passed earlier. I feel, I feel terrible. Well. Oh, use my witcher senses. Oh. Are you dead, Goose? Oh, these are just feathers? A feather. Broken. It was a fight. Uh-oh. Things are getting mysterious. I love that she's still wearing the cape, by the way. Goose feathers. Must have been flapping its wings. Or did it just get plucked? It's a good thing we can talk out loud to somebody who can hear us besides Roach. Wait. Just a oh. bit more and I'll be free. At last. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click on you. Watch <laughs> out, pixies! <laughs> If nothing else, they certainly start on me. Oh, they are actually doing quite a bit of damage to me. Look at that. I need to take my, uh, my potions. Look at that. Holy cow. I do need to take my potions. Jeez. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. And... You know what I would be so cool? I'll have to look online. I wonder- I bet you Etsy has some. It'd be really cool to get, like, little necklaces or little charms based off the Witcher potions. That'd be really cool. It would take a lot of effort, a lot of, like, wire work. But it'd be cool. Alright then. Alright. Oh, there's a... Is that glowing? No. The only problem with doing it in this mode is that you tend to, like, not see hey, your there, peripherals well. in the well. trees. Some kind of camp. Yeah, see, I can't see it. But there's some enemy... Oh, there it is. 
The golden eggs will be out. The golden eggs. You're a bunch of dogs. Are you like? Are they the like seven? Oh. Oh, you're Redbeard, not Barbaros. Oh, my keeper in a cage. Eggs from free range birds are so much better. Oh well. Where's the key? Elf Guardian Lemon. I needed that, I Here think. It is. Got it. Elf. How did you get that? Do, 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 do. How did you write? Good thing you posted that notice. Never would have found you otherwise. Thank you. This is my payment. Oh, look. She laid a golden egg for you. <laughs> <laughs> if only all my employers were that generous. Uh, you going to be all right there, Goosey Goose? Really travel all the way here for a contract. Nature of the job. I don't believe it. You must have had another reason. Spent a few idyllic months in Beauclair some time past. Part of me wanted to come back, I think. Oh, yes. Visit Toussaint once and you'll always long to return. Let's go, Roach! If you can make... No, you're stuck on a hill somewhere, I think? You can do it. I believe in you. Sienna, stop trying to cut me off. Roach, where are you? No, Roach, come here. Are you gonna ride a niece? I'm riding a unicorn right now, which I know for Geralt is an entirely different euphemism of sorts, but this is really cool. Instead of fighting a dark lord vampire, we're, uh, we're traveling through a twisted fairy tale, which is like totally up my alley. I did research on fairy tales and stuff, and like, sort of like uh, fairy tale tropes in video games and stuff like that. It was, or like, I don't know, it was just really, it was, I like fairy tales on their own, but it's also fun to like read about them in context of like, like how video games deal with them, you know? And how they rewrite them sometimes. Rewritten fairy tales are my favorite. Like, I really like them when they, I really like it when they rewrite them with, like, different, like, a, like, they just switch things up, and you kind of keep the same story, but you do, like, a different twist or something. Is she still fighting the pixies? I'll feel bad if she is. Oh, no, there she comes. Come on. You look beautiful on your pink unicorn. Come on, Roach. Unicorn. Billy Goats 3! Creepy town. Is it wherever she goes that there's snow or what? Whoa! <laughs> this is so fun, riding through fairy tales, even though it's like. It's a video game, right? But like I'm riding through fairy tales and like they're like twisted and tropic ones. I love it. I like twisted fairy tales better. Futuristic ones set in like sci-fi. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite. Wait. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly, very abruptly. We must be careful. All right, toss them. No, don't. Did she just trick me? I think she did. Don't you gotta water them? Oh. It's not happening the way she wanted it to. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, Carol. <sighs> Something's always gotta go wrong. We are the hunter in Red Riding Hood. The home stretch. He just put her hands on her boob! Like, that was straight up, like, she was like, excuse me? She's like, climbing's not my specialty, but we're gonna climb up this giant beanstalk. Gotta be rough. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I have a golden egg. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with <sighs> a giant. Him. Oh, he's a very angry looking. Okay. Um. What are you technically? Cloud giant. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Um, I don't know if Agroid oil is gonna work on you, but I'm gonna give it my best. <laughs> I've got my potions on, I think. I hope. Yep, I do. Oh, of course it's a cloud giant, it's so he can go invisible! Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. Well, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. Gee whiz, thanks. That's so? How? Plan to use me like you did Detloff? No, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Don't touch it! Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt, and I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. Uh, let her have your way with- No! Oh, no! Another time, another place, maybe. No offense. None taken. You spoke clearly, you spoke honestly. It's fine. Thank you. You are gorgeous, but there is no freaking way I'm doing that. No way. No, let her have her way with you. No. 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 Come. No. The exit's this way. You're a pretty lady, and you're very smart, but you're very scary. No. I didn't get to loot the cloud giant. Also, Detlaf would for- oh, here we go. Woohoo! Detlaf would straight up murder me. Let me have the loot. Let me have it. A greater red mutagen. This is so weird. We're like walking on air. I need- really? Like, that's good- really? There's a wisp. I don't believe her for one second, either. Another will of the wisp. She's definitely trying to get me. I don't know. Maybe she maybe she legitimately meant it, but. What? Oh! Secrets! Maybe shouldn't trust this one either, but I'm gonna. I'm going for it. Oh, it's a Dark Souls reference! <laughs> he said! Geralt sat next to the fire! I was gonna say, this looks like Dark Souls! <gasps> oh, I got a 
sword out of it! I was gonna say, this looks like a Dark Souls thing, and then what do you know? Oh my gosh, that is too funny. He even sat next to the fire! Like, I don't think... I don't think a Will-o'-the-Wisp ever leads you to a fire, but, like, I was definitely getting that feel. Like, for some reason, I was getting that feel. And then I saw it. That's so cool, and he sat next to it! Wait, let's look at this sword. Mm, no. Get shift. Wow. It's a silver sword and increases all my sign intensity. It's at a 67%. Wowza. It is worth a lot of money, too, and it's really cool looking. What is it? Um. Wow, that is a really cool looking sword. Thank you, Geralt, for showing it to me. Neat. That's way neat. That is, maybe it was the bridge. You think it was the bridge? I think it maybe was like this little, that's like over a chasm bridge. And, oh, and the fact, okay, you know what, because it was, it was the Will of the Wisp like went over the edge. And I was like, this, I almost said it. I was like, this seems like one of those things where you come up to a sign in Dark Souls and it says jump. And like most of the time there isn't anything down there, but sometimes there is. You know, that's what it felt like. It definitely felt like a Dark Souls thing where, like, if you jump over an edge, like, usually it's death, but sometimes there's a little secret, like, hidden away. Daily Wap, but actually, I don't know how to get back up. I don't think the other way. Uh oh. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. I think. Nope. This is not Assassin's Creed. I can't use that ledge. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Oh, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that was fun. That was funny. I'm glad I followed that Will of the Wisp. Just curious. Why do you want the Heart of Tucson and the Ducal Wine? They were my right. My Jew. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. You know that, don't you? I do. I regret nothing. One lives but once. Here, we need but jump into the well. You first. What? Why? I thought the golden egg was gonna be useful here, but apparently not. Now I'm sad. There's a whole castle here. We're not gonna explore the whole castle? It looks kinda like um, Care Morhead, to be honest. No secrets in the castle? What? Oh. Is there a story about a donkey that poops out gold? I was, I was listening to Blood, Sweat, and Pixels the other day on my, my audiobook stuff, and one of the one of the chapters was about The Witcher 3 development, and they said that the the writers at the end, you know, their deadlines had come earlier, so at the end, all they got to do was make sure that stuff like Donkey said Donkey over them, and not like Goose or Roach or something weird. So that was, they got to kind of have a chill, chill era time because all their, the writing deadlines all come like first, you know, what happens at the end is like the special effects stuff, you know, and audio. They're the ones who get the big crunch time at the end. Geronimo! Is that our way out? We just jumped through the well? I don't know if I'm ready to go back to the real world. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for adulting. Please. Please don't be frozen on this loading screen. Holy cow! Oh, 
Ooh, Ooh Geralt, nice. Oh, no fairy tale coat for you. Was in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anarietta and I would use it to hide from your governess, which luckily she noted down in her diary. Thus, I knew where to await you. Hi. Never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Ooh, he's mad at her. Calm down, both of you. But. No buts. No buts! You all Let's have exceptional go. buts. I really want to be done with this. You coming? Did she see him or what? Or is she looking for Anna Henry? Anna Henry. Anna Rietta. Kind of the shortened version of her Anna Henrietta. Kind of puts 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 them together. <laughs> puts them together. One might say. Creates a comp instead of shortening her name. She combines the two long ones. We did it. Now we're where we're meeting Detlaf now? I don't know, man. I feel like the city wouldn't, there'd be nothing left at this point. Even a bunch of lower vampires. Nice place. You can't. Isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ugh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declan ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. You nervous? Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex. Especially so when set ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. Ugh, may I be honest? Yes, I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. Okay. Let's get ready. Dedloff will be here any moment now. He's gonna come from the other direction! All right, I'm afraid I'll have to call it here. I deeply apologize for having to cut it right before the big action happens, but it seemed like a better place than in the middle of the action. So thank you guys for watching this part. I hope you're enjoying as much as I am, and I will see you in the next one.